Howdy partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Uh, this is a kind of continuation of uh, my last video where I showed you how to build an RS null latch array. Um, I'm going to show you how to turn that RS null latch array into a combination lock. Um, really cool compact unit um, that is kind of infinitely extendable and gives you cake, uh, which is always a bonus. Um, so I'm going to show you how to build this, uh, I'm going to talk about how you can extend it out because uh, it's not just limited to four inputs, you can essentially have infinite, uh, four in fact is not particularly secure, but I am lazy, so brilliant. Uh, cool, so let's get started. Hot guy. Um, we're going to start with the decoder part, um, and the first thing you want to do is dig the trenches. Um, that go under the decoder and I'll explain that in a sec. So uh, they're going to be four long and they're going to be two deep and there's always a gap in between each one. Um, and then on each one of those gaps and the first bit here, you want to put four repeaters like that, apart from the last one. Um, and then you want to dig down one, 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 uh, like that. Basically, if you if you want more digits in your code, you just extend and do more trenches for each one. So this is a four-digit code because it's got four trenches. If you wanted five, six, seven, eight, you just extend it out and just kind of copy-paste what you're doing. Now you're going to put wall in front of those uh, repeaters so that they can carry signal all the way to this last trench. Like that. And then you're going to want to put torches on top of every single blue block, like that. Now I'll explain all this in a second. So uh, we want to do our keypad, so that's four blocks like that, uh, centralised but with a gap here. And then block there, block there, redstone on top of those, and then four torches on the back of each button. Um, and what you'll notice is now when I press one of these buttons, it's going to light up a specific line of torches. So that's lit up the third line, fourth line, first line, second line. Um, and that is how you isolate each button uh, for your input into the combination lock. Um, what these torches do is later on they're going to be a, de um, not delay line, a reset line that goes into the uh, latch array so we'll explain that as we get there okay so you've done that and you know that you've now got four digits for your combination lock but you've got to work out what they're going to be so i'm going to do uh, if i don't smash my own stuff up one three two four like that um yeah so we start with one and we work out which line is one, so it's this first one. Um, and then we go to our first digit in the code and we knock the torch off whichever um, number we've decided we want it to be. So I've knocked off one because I want this one to be one. And then we need to put a block below uh, the one block in the decoder and then run some redstone up like that. So that now if I press one, you can see this redstone turns off and on. And that is going to feed straight into the RS null latch array. Uh, and that's why we do that. Because if that wasn't there, it wouldn't affect it at all. Basically, so you've got to do that. Then we move on to our second digit in the code. And that was going to be 3. So we find which is the 3 line, which is this one here. And we knock the torch off. And then we've got to do the same thing so that the redstone dust picks up a signal from that line like that, as you can see it's picked up signal. Now if I press 3, we see that this turns off and on, which is going to be our second part that goes into our RS null array. And you just do that down the line for each one of your digits. So 2 is this one, and we're on our third uh, digit in the combination. And then we want to get our redstone and run it. It's always a pickle. Run it out like that. And then put that over. And you always got to take this torch off the top because otherwise you'll reset the latch. Um, 
when you don't want to and then line four is this one so we go back here and do the same cool so that's that um, and put a wall block back on now what this means is if I press one it activates this bit of redstone or turns it off rather if I press three it does this bit if I press 2, it does this bit. And if I press 4, it does the final bit of redstone back here. Um, as you can tell, that's the order in which it's going to go into our RS null array. Um, so, uh, let's build that now. Right. Um, so this RS null array is exactly the same as the one that we built in my last tutorial. And I'll put um, links in the description for it. Uh, there are a couple of differences though. The first latch has this extension on it now with a torch like that. So hopefully you'll be able to follow it. Um, so our latches look like this. Like that. I've used this combination lock build so many times now. Um, it's really good. It's really reliable. Um, you do have to enter the pin at a reasonable pace, not too fast, um, otherwise you can def uh, confuse the memory array a little bit, but it's normally okay, especially on single player, it's, you can go pretty fast. So, um, yeah, you've got your latches like that, and then your AND gates here, and then as we did in the last tutorial, we just run those out with a repeater there, and a repeater there, AND gates, Redstone, torch, 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 torch there, 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 like that, and then you've got your repeaters come out. A bit like that. Um, so yeah, like I say, if you don't know how to do that, uh, I'll put a link in the annotation description, whatever, uh, so you guys can check it out. Now, so what we've done is we've linked each digit from the decoder up to one of the latches in the array. So when we press one now, um, you'll see that we light up the first latch. And then if you press three, which is our next uh, number in the code, we light up our second latch. Press two and we light up our third latch and we press four and we light up the final latch. Now that's all well and good and that works great, but the problem is we could just randomly press numbers for long enough and still and get the code. Um, because there's no reset. So if I just randomly press numbers, uh, as you can see, we eventually get there. Um, which is not particularly secure. So what you've got to do is add a reset line, and that's the, the function of these torches here, um, which is going to reset the latch if you get a wrong number at the wrong time. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, pretty simple, this one. So what you've got to do is just put uh, <coughs> blocks there and then just run them out all the way to the end of the decoder line here. And you do that for every uh, latch. Like that. Like I say, if you had a, a bigger array with more digits, you would just do exactly the same thing all the way down the line. Like that. And then what you've got to do is put repeaters above these torches, uh, if I don't fall through the floor, um, just to make sure that when you put the redstone uh, wires up here, they don't uh, cross talk and give you output that you don't want. Um, <clears throat> So you whack them there, and then you can knock out these blocks like that. And then you need to put a block here with inverters, and they go onto top of these, and then you put another torch there like that. Um, so that just carries it above this torch so that doesn't get uh, crossed over in the old cost talk and then you just want to fill these out with uh, redstone like that 
and that is it done so what this does basically is if you press a wrong number so if you press one normally it's fine because there's no reset torch on the one line whereas if you were to press um, the wrong number so four it goes up on the reset line comes around here and resets the latch and that's why nothing is displayed so it makes it a hell of a lot more secure so you can't just randomly bash in numbers um, and kind of get the code or at least it's a hell of a lot harder as you can see absolutely nothing's going on here um, until you put in the code correctly uh, and as you can see it actually resets the number before uh, because when you hit that second number it comes through here and it actually hits this reset line which resets the uh, latch before but that doesn't matter because you've moved on to the next one and then you just keep going down the line so it moves on to the next one and then the final one there now uh, just a note before I go this final one is your output to open the door or whatever it's attached to uh, so you need to put a bit of redstone there on a block and then you can run it round to whatever you want so it could be a door or you know and absolutely anything that can be powered by redstone obviously so normally a door or uh, some kind of safe house or whatever um, give me an example So because our code is right, it's opened the door. But if I reset it like that, the door is closed. And then we enter our code. Bang, it's open. So uh, that is it. I think this is pretty much the most compact um, combo lock at the moment. I haven't seen anything better than this um, size-wise. Uh, like I say, you have to enter it. You can't enter it super fast. Um, Generally, it won't work because the reset lines get a bit confused, but, you know, fairly moderate pace and you'll be all right. Um, so, yeah, that is that. I hope it helped uh, and cheers for watching.